Okay, can you guys hear me? Okay, there goes the notification. I would love to be able to see these comments bigger. There we go. Good morning. Okay, everybody can hear me, right? Awesome, okay, so YouTube is working, you guys can hear me, and Facebook is working, and you guys can hear me. Great. Okay, so today is Wednesday, November 3rd, and um, I have a really cute project for you today. It's actually not my creation, it's uh, one of my downlines, Stephanie. She sent me the project that we're making, and I had so many requests uh, on how to make it that um, I asked her this morning if she would be okay with that and she said absolutely so yay we're just going to give everybody about 30 seconds to get in here before I start giving you all the details good morning good afternoon good day <laughs> it's sunny here in Kansas thank goodness I'm so much happier when I wake up and the sun is shining. Okay, awesome. So a couple reminders uh, before we get started. The 12 Days of Christmas is starting next week. Um, if you already uh, signed up or subscribed, I should say, and you got a day one that was blank, sorry about that. I was in the process of building the pages or building the days, and I accidentally... Uh, left day one not on draft so it was just a blank email but it does start next weekend and i'm currently building uh those emails that's what it's called um so you do have to subscribe it's not going to be um on my blog it's just going to be for my newsletter subscribers and if you need help finding it just let me know um the holiday adhesive totes someone asked about the deadline you have until november 15th but what i'm doing is shipping these in stages so the people that ordered the first couple days i went ahead and ordered it yesterday so i'm gonna be um ordering them in um groups so group one ordered it yesterday and as soon as it gets in i'll start shipping but i'll take orders until november 15th uh, someone also asked, why am I not waiting till Black Friday to do my special for November? Because of inventory. Everybody is out of inventory everywhere. And I just want to make sure that I uh, have inventory. Um, yeah, so that's the reason. And then this is my November 1st through 14th host code. Okay, so that's all my housekeeping notes. Here's the supplies we're going to be using today. Cinnamon cider, six by three, and I've gone ahead and scored it at three inches, so that's our card front. In good taste, designer series paper, that's two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then basic white, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. We have real red, misty moonlight, cinnamon cider. I hope I called that the right color. Did I say cinnamon cider? Hopefully. Calypso Coral, Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Basic Black, and Basic White. If you're already signed up on my newsletter, you're good. You're fine. Yeah. I had somebody sign, I had a couple people sign up and unsubscribe immediately. I'm like, hmm, wonder what happened. It was probably an accident. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to stamp on that. 
And this is gonna be the only stamping that we're doing. So we're using Banner Year, we're using the Happy Thanksgiving with cinnamon cider ink. Huh, there's a piece of paper in there. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, Happy Thanksgiving is done. We're using the mm, potted succulents uh, dye. Now, you if you don't have the potted succulents dyes, you don't have to buy it for this project. Um, there are other choices. Uh, you can use your paper trimmer and you can just trim it really small. Uh, this one's from the Frightful Tags dies. If you have the Frightful Tags, of course, those have been on back order, so I know some of y'all don't have it, but this one is the Potted Succulents. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out real quick. I'm using the mini stamping cut and emboss machine. One and a two. And let's see if this will hold. I'm gonna go ahead and use some purple tape just to be on the safe side. Um, we may go over by a couple minutes today. Oh, come on, stick. The new purple tape is not the same as the old purple tape. Okay, there's that. Okay. So, oh, I smudged the ink. Oh, well. So we're going to be using four punches today. We're using the medium daisy. Ow. Um... That thing is sharp. Uh, the regular daisy, the turtle punch, and the penguin builder punch. Yes, I'm still looking at my finger, trying to figure out if I cut it. I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna cut out cinnamon cider with this one. That's the large rut row. I needed two scraps of that one because we need two pieces. And then we need another piece of uh, cinnamon cider for the penguin. So I'm a little short on um, the cinnamon cider. And then one more foot. So let's recap that. You're gonna need two of these, one of these, and then two feet, okay? Now for the rest of these, we're gonna cut out one medium daisy. Okay, so now we're done with the daisy punch. And then for the turtle punch, um, we're gonna cut out two of these bigger circles. There's one. And there's two. For the basic black, we're gonna cut out the two little circles. Okay. 
Now we're gonna need our uh, silicone craft sheet. It's like we're gonna be doing surgery. Um, let me go ahead and add this basic white inside here. So we're making a three by three card with what? I know several of you already know what we're making. Some of you know because you've emailed me about it, right? <laughs> um, this is the In Good Taste designer series paper. This is in the annual catalog. Now we'll set this aside. And we're gonna attach the um, daisies together. like that, okay? That part's done. And now we're gonna use our paper snips and we're gonna cut um, half of a red bloom, leaf, whatever it's called. What is it called? A bloom, right? Um, and then we need three Cajun Craze. I almost called this really rust this morning. Who remembers really rust? <laughs> almost called it that. Okay, there's Cajun Craze. Same thing with Calypso Coral. And the same with Misty Moonlight. And Bumblebee. We need um, three. I already lost those little black eyes, didn't I? <laughs> I knew, no, they're right there, never mind, take it back. Okay, so now, um, well, let's, let's go ahead and attach those black pieces to the white so that I don't lose them. So I'm gonna use my putty end of my take your pick tool. If you've never used this, I don't know how in the world you do these types of things. Um, Now I need some liquid glue, so. This glue uh, rubs right off when it dries. Not when it's wet, but when it dries, it wipes right off of your silicone craft sheet. Okay, so now we have to get rid of some of these feathers. So I'm gonna fold this one up. Whoops, let's see. This one up, this one up, this one up, and I think those two up, right? Yeah. Okay, so all of those that I just folded up, I'm gonna whack them off, because we don't need them. Okay, we need to do a little surgery on him. So we're gonna cut that. Okay. I can't help but to laugh. I was talking to my sister this morning while I was making this and 
um, I said, I could potentially really mess up or maybe not. Um, when it comes to punch art, yeah, you never know. Okay, so I folded that one kind of, sort of, in half. See? Hopefully you can see that. And then we're going to attach this red part. So I'm going to open this up and see if that's going to fit. I think I need to trim the, the red piece. Well, no, I don't. It's good. So now I'm just going to put a little swipe of liquid glue on it. This is where I am reminded that my fingers are not the smallest in the world. So I'm just gonna hold that and let it um, dry. Okay, so that part's almost done. We need to seal, nope, it sealed it. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. So the eyes are done, that part's done, and then now, Rut row. Sorry about that. I normally have notifications off. So now we're going to start adding uh, these pieces. Let me snip that little edge right there. So this one's going here. And this one's going here. And then this this one and Calypso nope wrong color bumblebee every time I say bumblebee I think about that transformer bumblebee <laughs> do any y'all know what I'm talking about um and now Calypso and then Cajun Crates and repeat. So Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, Calypso again, and Cajun. And Misty Moonlight. So now all we need to do is add our adhesive. Oh, do we still have really rust? Do we? Am I using really rust? No, I'm using Cajun Craze. <laughs> oh, y'all still have it. I'm like, I don't think we have it, do we? Now you're making me second guess myself. I need more, um, more liquid glue. I should not have looked at comments. Yes, Bumblebee is the cutest transformer. Absolutely. What uh row? -oh. Wow. Husband's walking upstairs. Can y'all hear him? <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Operation, right? So this little tool that I'm using is a Stampin' Up something something. <laughs> I really don't know what it was. It was in one of our little de-stressing, de-stressing. It was in a kit. Um, 
I think it had like a sanding block or what have you. I don't really remember, but I just know that when we moved, I discovered it. I'm like, ooh, that's a great tool to have. You can use a stiletto or there's tons of other things you can use. Even another take your pick tool will work. Okay. Hey, that could be like an Indian hairdress too, right? Is that what it's called, a hairdress? I think it is. Um, okay, so now we're ready to add the body. Yeah, that looks good. So we're just gonna add some liquid glue right here in the middle. Uh oh, come here. I just want to make sure, yeah, good size. Now for the feet, we're going to use um, mini dimensionals. And we're adding the feet first because we want to add the greeting and whatever that part of its body is called. <laughs> um, and we want to make sure that we have room for everything. So that's why I'm adding the, the feet first. I put the mini dimensional kind of in the wrong spot. Uh -oh. Come here. This should have been the easiest thing to do and I've turned it into the most difficult. Let's try that again. There we go. So at the bottom. And I think it's easier to add the Happy Thanksgiving now and then add the other part. Whoa, that was a lot. Now we need to add the eyes. So this gets turned around and added there. Wait, where's my tool? <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting choked up just because it don't it's it's not right. It, I feel like I'm poking him in the eye, but it's the only way to build them. Okay, glue. So now we need the glue. What row? Come here. So cute. And I didn't mess up, did I? Okay, so now we're just gonna add him to our little card. Now, if I had all the ingredients for my blessing mix, I could have made this a box, but I already told y'all what's going on Monday, so we won't, and I only need one dimensional. I don't need two. Um, so maybe this weekend I'll get out and get the ingredients. You can't find all the ingredients for the blessing mix in just one store have to go to a couple. Not every store carries bugles or orange slices. Okay, so here is the little penguin punch turkey. And let me show you the one that, um, so this will fit in a three by three envelope. I wanna show you the one that Stephanie sent me cause that's the one that prompted everyone to um, email me about how to make it. So this is Stephanie's. 
Thank you so much. She is one of my downline. Are you on here, Stephanie? Oh, it's called the waddle. <laughs> That's what she called it too, the waddle. That little dumaflachi. Okay. Do you guys have any um, questions? So, uh, so one question is, why don't I use tweezers to help me play small pieces? I cannot master it. I have a really good customer, or fellow demonstrator uh, that sent me an awesome pair of tweezers. I cannot master it. I tried for the longest time because it was so nice that she sent it to me. I, I can't do it. Um, and we don't personally sell tweezers anyway. So uh, I try to use only Stampin' Up! product, but yeah. I, I've tried. I can't. <laughs> Good question, though. Um, okay, so I'm going to look on uh, YouTube first because um, I can. I'm going to hold this up close so you can see it. So I'm going to look on questions there. And then I will um, go over to Facebook and look at those. Okay, so someone said um, they have all the supplies. Yay, that's good. Okay, th that was really short. No questions over on YouTube, so let me check Facebook. Okay. Um, thank you for the hearts. I'm glad y'all like it. Uh, Stephanie said Walgreens, CVS, and Walmart. Um, is where you get orange slices and bugles. And I, you know what? I've got a prescription to get today. That was another thing. My uh, Synthroid, um, my blood work came back and they're having to change my Synthroid doses. So that's kind of makes me feel better to know that there was something wrong with my, my dosage. Um... Okay, Aunt Stephanie answered that question about the orange slice. You know those little orange slices that they taste gnarly. They're pure sugar. My husband loves them. I think my sister likes them too. I don't like them. Um, but yeah, they're those orange, sugary orange slices. Sometimes you can get those slice, those things in other colors and other flavors, and I like those. Um... Okay, still looking for questions. Okay, so multiple people are saying use tweezers. Um, yeah, I, I've tried. Different strokes for different folks, right? Okay, I don't, I don't see any other questions. I'll scroll to the bottom before I sign off. Um, so my next live video will be, um, Monday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Oh, one more question. So Lori asked, will they replenish the Penguin Punch? Absolutely. Um, it's just on a slow boat out in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> like every other product that we're all waiting on. Um, yeah, so I know, I think the Turkle, the Turkle, uh, the Turtle Punch may be on back order again also. Um yeah the beloved penguin punch i told y'all when we were in the pre-order i knew i knew it was gonna i knew it was gonna sell out really quickly um i'm hoping it's gonna be in the annual but i don't know uh but i do know that it's it's those that have ordered it and it's on back order it it should still you should still get it yeah that was a good question too Oh, wow. Linda says her insurance won't cover Synthroid. The other one don't work for me. I have to have Synthroid. Oh, you could use dehyd de dehydrated oranges? Hmm. Do y'all have a food dehydrator? I do, actually. But it hasn't been unboxed in a long time. I hope they carry it over. 
Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you again, Stephanie, for your darling penguin, penguin punch turkey. That's what we're calling it, right? Okay, you guys have a great day. Thank you.